Hello, hello everyone. My name is True Pettigrew and I am the Chief Diversity and Inclusion Officer for the Minnesota Timberwolves and the Minnesota Lynx. Special shout out to Alumni Roundup Group for partnering with us and making this possible. The NBA is looking to create opportunities, to create pathways to employment for HBCU students. And so we want to make sure you are fully aware of the different opportunities that exist in the NBA and we want to provide you with as much insight and, and perspective as we can from leaders and executives that are already working in the NBA. Today, I'm excited to have someone from the team that I get to proudly represent, the, the Minnesota Timberwolves. Gentleman by the name of Mr. Will Eason, who is an account executive with the Minnesota Timberwolves. Tell us a little bit about you, Will. I believe you are an HBCU alum. My time at Hampton was amazing. Um, I was able to connect and, and meet a lot of great people that are still in my life today. At Hampton, that was really the time I was really able to evaluate my life. Um, I was a former student athlete. I played football. Growing up, that's all I put my focus into. And uh, when I got to Hampton, uh, I really realized, you know, I, it, there's a lot more out there than football. The ceiling was pretty high for me, and I just had to, you know, use my resources and, and really put in the work. First of all, you know, I'm blessed to even have this opportunity to be sitting in this chair here with this organization underneath the leadership of people like True. You were at Hampton. We have HBCU students from across the country right now that are listening in on this. What's something that you would tell them that you think is important that they should be focusing on right now while they're still in school? If they have aspirations, dreams and aspirations of working in the NBA. One, always be yourself. You know, no matter what what room you step in, you know, be true to your character, be true to the principles that you live by. And then number two is, um, you know, relationships, you know, always treat people the right way. You never know who who might be able to crack a door open for you or, or open a door for you for that next opportunity. That's something that definitely helped propel me to where I'm at right now is just the relationships, the people I met throughout my life and being a man of my word has, you know, helped a lot of people back be in my corner. And now I have a lot of resources that, you know, I could lean on and rely on a lot of mentors that are in my corner, helping me guide and lead me to, you know, the path of success. Thank you for sharing that, Will, man. I think that's so important, recognizing the value that you bring into other people's lives and always looking at life and the relationships through the lens of how can I add value. That pays itself back. That really does help you to reap a harvest, as they say, right? I really believe a large reason that doors were opened for me throughout my journey is because I always focused on how can I add value to the lives of the people that I'm around? I learned over time the importance of not going into situations and scenarios looking for what I can get out of it, looking for what I can get from different people. But I learned early on, you reap the most when you focused on how much you can contribute, not necessarily how much you can get. And when I started focusing on how much value I can contribute to the lives of others. That's when so, so many doors began to open for me. And, and it sounds like you've had a similar experience. We also want to encourage you all to please apply for this fellowship. The deadline is February 20th. Please apply. We will be doing these live streams every day this week. We will create opportunities for you to hear from black leaders and black, black executives across the league to give you some ideas as to what it's like, what it will take for you to secure this fellowship and, and ultimately secure a role and establish a career in the NBA.